Help me! Please help oh, me! Shush you. Let's get some boxes over there. Hopefully I'll be able to build up and find out what the hell that thing is up there. Can you hear me? It's not too late to set things right. What are you talking about set things right? I haven't done anything to you. Am I supposed to set things right when I haven't done anything? Alright, let's see here. Build something up towards this. Okay. Um, does that work? Nope, nope, nope. Ow. Stupid boxes. This reminds me of building boxes up in Thief. Used to do that a long time ago. That was rather difficult as well. I think Thief was probably a little bit more difficult to build up boxes. It's too high up to reach. Hmm. That looks like a ladder. Wait a minute. Ladder? Ah! Nice. Maybe I can find a key for that guy that was back there. So I can uh, get him out of there. What was that all about? Hello? Hello? Did this cave in or something? Is there something down there? Maybe that monster came back. And that's what the noise was. Well, if that monster came back, it'll be hard to get back down there and open that cage with a key. over this way. Hmm. Does this just go around in circles? Is that what I'm... Yeah. Alright. Just had to check. So it could have been something else that I might have missed. Let's go this way. What was that? It's just a little rock, or is it part of a necklace? I can't tell. A little far away to figure out what it is. Oh, fantastic, a dead end. Alright, well, I guess I have to go the other way then. Let's see here. Higher. Oh, I can stand up here. Um, oh! Well, I guess I'm not going back that way. Hmm. There's no cylinder in the phonograph. Hey, I got something. Does this work? Ooh. Alright. What does this do? <laughs> Speaking to the phonograph, Bazir, mon chéri. Uh, what did you put into the wine? Absinthe, silly Basile. Strong men like you don't drink wine. Uh, wine is for helpless women, like myself. Right. My head. What is this thing? Get me out. I'm not up for your games. No. <laughs> you have to say it first. How beautiful am I? Plenty. Now let me out of this thing! No! That is not what you say. Uh, your beauty is blinding. Ah! My eyes! What have you done to my eyes? Justine! This isn't funny! You've blinded me! Ha uh ha! -huh. Can't catch me now! I'll kill you, you whore! Well, she, um... 
She seems like a child who doesn't realize what she's doing. Playing tag with someone she just blinded. Oh, great. A blood stain. Let's go find out what's going on in there then. Oops. Hmm. Ooh, a note. Newspaper article, 19th March, 1858. Travis C. at the Conservatory. Many Parisians had gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtuoso Malo de Vigny. It was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet. But the evening took an unexpected turn. Young Malo de Vigny turned up visibly intoxicated. His violin cried as the bow was jerked across the strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song, La Rose et la Bella. The stress. Uh, apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. Mademoiselle Justine Florbel, who is according to rumors romantically involved with Monsieur de Vigny, looked quite amused by the event and had two of her friends, Basile Garot and Aloy Racine, I believe, carry him off the stage. The evening was saved by other musicians at the conservatory, who was, don't you mean who were able to perform a most delightful impromptu concerto in Malo de Vigny's absence. The audience showered their saviors with praise and calls for encore were awarded with spectacular pieces by both Offenbach and Chopin. Hmm. So it sounds like she got him with absinthe and then blinded him. Probably right here. It's blood and... I don't know if he was dragged this way or... He must have been dragged. And this is a green looking... Liquor, maybe this is the absinthe. Ugh. What's the matter with his face? It's like someone really screwed these people up in here. Justine doesn't sound particularly nice. Ooh, ouch. Is this a brand or something? Hmm. Well, that's neat. A little shadow on the wall. That is very neat, but um, I'm guessing that she held this to his face and blinded him when it was really hot. Ugh, what a way to lose your eyesight. That sure would not be fun at all. Alright. Before I leave here, I should probably play this. Congratulations for coming this far. I'm so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. I think I he did. He's a friend, and a colleague of my papa, you know. Really? Friendly fellow. A real bon garçon, but frail of mind. Yeah. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Yes. Yeah, so... I'm guessing this Justine person, if Justine isn't me, is trying to make me kill people. But apparently they can all be saved according to her. I just don't quite know how. Hmm. Alright, what do we have here? Ah, oh, it's the library! Yes, the library. Anyway. Looks, um, suspiciously like a symbol from Harry Potter. This, this is Hogwarts, that's what it is. Hogwarts with lots of death. 
The gloomy space downstairs became a playground, a mysterious place for Justine to discover with her friends. Hmm. Alright, what do we have here? On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. All right. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. Hmm. All right. Light, huh? Ooh. Tender boxes. Lovely. Anything up here? Some maps of some sort. What is that? It's a shield. Got an egg. Ooh. What is this? Slide two. Hmm. So there's gotta be a slide one somewhere then. Oh great, creepy statues. If Thief has taught me anything, it's to fear statues. Ugh. What do I got going on in here? Random books. Do any of these um happen to open a secret maybe? No? Alright then. I guess there's nothing here these bookshelves. I don't know. kind of feel like trying to pull the books out anyway. Anything up in- oh, what's that? Herbert's letter. 12 January 1839. Dear Monsieur Florbel, I am sorry to hear about your daughter Justine's unruly behavior. Yeah, like blinding people with hot irons. Ugh. Rest assured... Shouldn't that should be like rest assured, but whatever. Rest assured that this does not diminish your work, nor does it make your idea of the natural developing mind less appropriate as a field of study. I have met plenty of scholars here in London enthralled by your hypotheses and start stated that it could be one of the most important ideas of the modern era. It has been suggested that the mind is not only molded by experience, but could also be stricken with disease without psychological sign. Perhaps this line of thinking could be applied to your child. I wish I could devote my letter to consolidation. However, I write to you with a request. I require passage into Algeria, and I need a Frenchman of great standing to vouch for my person. I am certain the name of Flaubel would greatly speed the process and grant me the permits I require. It pains me to ask this of you in your time of distress, but if you could suffer my inconvenience, I would greatly... I would be greatly in your debt. Yours sincerely, Herbert. Herbert, huh? Wasn't Herbert in... Like, I think it was Herbert Agrippa? In the uh, original? Ooh. Got a tinder box here. Whoops. There we go. But yeah, I think he was um, in the original Amnesia. Ooh, hi there. Looks like that's it for that. There's slide one. Alright, what's this note all about? Results. The tests have been going well. The most long-term and, in a sense, the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood, for every day is a great way to see the larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she is able to effortlessly reduce all her experiences into one of the four character slides. 
Using the puzzle lock has proven more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides with characters facing the same way. I have asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I'm asking. Hmm. Let's see here. Anything around here? Uh, what's that? That's just a book, I guess. One must be curious. Could very well be anything. That would be creepy if I wasn't throwing books. Let's see here. Any of these be removed? Come on, you. Ah. The book was really heavy for some reason. Is there anything down here? Nope. How about up here? Got a random book. I guess that's it. Ah! Broom, my old friend. Let's do some sweeping. It has been a while since I've seen you, Broom. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see what's through here. Random open books. Great. Bookshelves everywhere. Plenty of stuff to search through. there's anything up here. Oh, a tinder box. Lovely. Hmm. Is that, uh, is that it? Still haven't found any oil for my lamp. Can't do anything with it. I wonder if there is some lamp oil around here somewhere. Sure would be nice. Um, ooh, what is this? Slide three. Interesting. Um, so there's nothing there. Hello. Anything of interest around here? Uh, I guess nothing on that shelf. Come on, you. Silly books getting in my way. that I can remove those two books, but I can't really do anything with the rest of these books. Don't know why. It's not like there was anything there. I guess that's it for here. Let's see what's in this room. Another note. Soul journal entries. Soul journal. Hmm. That's interesting. Justine, age eight. Today I played outside with Clarice. Clarice, your liver would be nice with some fava beans. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, we saw a bird pick out a snail. It carried it off and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and it cracked. Clarice cried and I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded Clarice for playing with me. The bird took off into the air. Today I was the one with the open arms. 
Hmm, interesting. Justine, age 9. Today I played with the slides from Father's Lightbox. Above all, I like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I said he sees things he likes. Today, I was the right one. Hmm, interesting. Justine, age 10. Father said I picked the wrong slide yesterday when I made the chambermaid cry. He wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man on the right. I never picked the one with the sword. Today, I was the one kneeling. Hmm. Justine, age 11. Today, Father came for me in my room. I still couldn't look him in the eyes. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed and that I only tried to fill the void left by Mother when he wasn't looking. I took the star stone from his collection. Today, I was the one with the sword. Hmm. So, I wonder if this has something to do with the slides that I'm picking up. Can I... Uh, they all say basically the same thing. That's not helpful. Ooh. Slide four. 